the Adams and Lady Falcons are one step closer to claiming their first ever PBL title. This after Adamson's young team took game number one of the PBL Collegiate Conference Best of Three Finals against the more experienced University of Santo Tomas Tigresses. To tell us more about how Adamson did it and what we can expect for game number two, we have Phil Kainlet Cayetano and Shara Soriano. Hello, minsan magkakasama tayo as analysts, yeah. but today, sitting opposite, opposite side of you guys, Charo, grabe yung naging yes. performance ng Adamson yeah, yeah, yeah. in game number one. What do you think really helped them really soar through those five sets? Well, I think basically it's really their state of being. They're so confident inside the court. They really actually believe that they can do it. And I stand corrected with my previous um, prediction also. <laughs> They were amazing in that game. I mean, I was at all oh, second set. They were leading by nine. Third set, Third they were leading by na, eleven. Na, 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 na. Score, yes. Can you imagine in a final series? And it's a team against UST. UST is also a very mature team. So for a young team like Adamson to do that, it's amazing. It's very nice to see. I'm excited also to see what will happen in game number two. Excited for all our rookies. Yes. Of course, the PBL is just a prelude to the UAAP. So many more things yes. to be looked forward to. Phil, what do you think ang naging performance naman ng UST? Kung bakit medyo nagkulang pagdating ng third set? I think for UST, um, they had the game plan, pero hindi nila nasunod. I think they weren't able to really activate their middle blockers because I expected the I expected them to activate the middle blockers para manito yung blockers ng Adamson. So what happened was of course Adamson had service down um sa um zone one. So sometimes hindi mo maabot sa setter or kaya no block ng Adamson. So that's why puro open lagi yung play ng USD. And also I think Coach Kung Fu was already mixing all his players na nilabas si um Laure, si Aya Laure, pinasok yung mga second stringers and I think he was frustrated because knowing that the USC Tigers just now are more experienced player, players compared to this young team na si Adamson. Veterans sa yes. talaga. Uh -oh. You know, EJ is there, AI is there. They have seen like more um, professional level of play because of the club team. So malaki talaga yung pagiging mature dito sa loob. But we saw the Adamson team yeah. really come oh, out as more mature, more composed, yeah, mas marami silang definitely. players in double figures. Mm -hmm. Who do you think Charo stood out from all I the players? I would have to commend Louis Romero. It's really yeah. her playmaking that made a lot of difference. You mentioned it a while ago. Excellent set, yeah. Yeah. And, and she was able to distribute the balls mm -hmm. properly so in such a way that her spikers were able to give, you said it, double figures. And it's four main spikers coming from Adamson. It, it was really hard for, for USD to really block and stop the Adamson Lady Falcons yesterday. How about for USD? Who really stood out for you? I mean, it was Aya. Aya was um, very aggressive. Mm -hmm. She had 19 points to her name yesterday. I would have loved to see the other players also contribute and participate, yeah. much like what Kung, uh, Coach Kung Fu was saying as well. Yeah, for me naman sa Adamson, I do agree na si Romero really played. Yeah. Napahagat niya yung blockers ng USD. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi yeah. Uh -huh. ang galing na, na parang naiipit niya yung bola. Akala ng blockers sa quicker pero biglang ibaba to sa open striker. Tsaka mabilis kasi yung set kaya hindi oh, maabot yung blockers. Hindi na lang. There were a lot. Wing, she yeah. can give it quattro. A lot of yeah. in instances na si Torres hindi mahabol yung um, palo ni Genesis. Kaya piyesta si Genesis sa open spike. And even I have to commend Almonte. Napakaganda ng discarte. And makikita niyo yung maturity in the fifth set. Nakita ko, nag-top spin siya ng bola. Fifth set na yun, crucial. Nag-top spin siya. Buti na lang. Butas, nakita niya, butas sa butas yung gita ng USC. So yung maturity na hindi kailangan lahat ipalo. May discarte na na i-drop ball, i-top spin. Yung ganun. May presence Almonte. of yeah. mind sila. Saka ang hirap sabihin kasi after a fifth set game, who is the better team? Uh -huh. You know, breaks of the game and five setters. Mm -hmm. So, masasabi natin, mas may discarte. And nagulat talaga lahat. Everybody was stunned yeah. that it was the rookie team. Mm -hmm. So, let's try to make a little predictions and a little <laughs> assumptions for game number two. Mm -hmm. You know, baka tama, baka hindi. Charo, what is your prediction for game number two? I think if I was um, part of the UST team, I would have to be more aggressive. I mean, this is gonna be the last chance that the team would get mm -hmm. in order to extend the series to game three. So, for sure, they're gonna go back to the drawing board. Coach Kung Fu will really have to talk to his team individually and also collectively as well. But if I was, I mean, if I was also a Lady Falcon, I would really have to grab this opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is a First once ever. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm sure they're all very passionate and they're all fired and ignited. So if they can stick to their game plan, no pressure, just play their game, mm -hmm. play it like how they did it in game number one, then I believe that it's going to be time for the Lady Falcons to really soar high.
Ako, hirap mag-predict eh. Yeah, kasi baka parang, mabash, pero yun, yeah, yeah, hindi naman. Pero parang <laughs> kasi, for Adam Sol, it's their chance na eh. And they chance were disciplined. Day. They followed the game plan. And it worked for them. For USD, I'm sure they're gonna adjust. And of course, they they have all, everything. On paper, malaka, mas malakas sila, mas mature sila. For me, I think USD is gonna bounce back. Ako. And Adamson needs to stop them. Talaga. Yeah. Saka marami tayong pipigilan. Okay. Actually, uh -oh. on both sides uh -oh. of the court. But what really played a big role was the coaching staff. You know, Coach Lerma was really on point all throughout her timeouts, as you were mentioning a while yes, ago. She was really instructing her her players. And it seems as though they really know each other very well. Of course, yeah. um, historically, also, they've been together for quite a while. And that's very important. On the side naman of Coach Kung Fu, we felt his first yeah. They had a game plan, you were right. But then again, how come it's not being executed? Mm -hmm. So that's something that they need to work on um, in the coming game. I did feel Coach Kung Fu's frustration. Yes, yes. Gumagano gano'n siya sa bench in a timeout or pinapinoko siya. Makita mo yung frustration kasi nga alam niya yung players niya, kilala niya, na kayang-kaya. Pero for Coach Lerma naman and Adamson, makita ko pag kanyang nagka-air yung player niya, lalapitan niya, parang very nurturing din. Yes. And I think she knows how to communicate with her players. A lot of the players are really starting to step up. Who is the player from each team that we should watch out for in game number two? Well, I think game number two, it's still going to be Louis Romero. Mm -hmm. uh, she will really have to step up and really make sure that she gets to distribute the balls even better this yeah. time around. Because for sure, USC will fight back. Yeah. They're the type of team that will not just go down easily. Right? They won't back out from a fight. In USD, I think it's the other players also would need to step up. Um, I would love to see uh, Amy Hernandez and yeah. EJ Lauren more in terms of the point system, but um, we'll see how they're going to adjust. Ako, at this point of the game, it's up to the playmakers, yung mga setters. Setter ng Adamson, si Romero, and setter ng, um, ng USC, it's either okay. Mangulabnan or si Galanza. So, Lahat ng spikers yung mga kapalo, it's up to them, yung playmaking skills nila and paano yung discard nila yung mag-make mag ng difference sa final game A lot of too. fire right now on the <laughs> yeah. PBL Collegiate Conference Court. Pero marami din nangyayari sa PBL Open Conference because we will be in Bacolod this Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Matagal tayo sa Bacolod Field. <laughs> Pero Sunday lang yeah. po ang game namin. Kakalabanin ang Cream Line Cool Smashers, ang Petrogas Angels. And of course, the Army Lady Troopers will take on Banco Perlas. Will we, the three of us, will be there yeah. in the college? Shadow, are you also going? I, I don't think I'll be going this weekend, but good luck, guys. Thank I'll you. be there in spirit. <laughs> Matinding labanan yan sa Bacolod this Sunday. This has been The Score. I'm Michelle Gumago. You can also watch The Score episodes at I Want for Free. We leave you with a look at the UAAP Beach Volleyball Finals. We'll see you again tomorrow. underdog kami ngayon na uh, hindi kami de defending champion para mawala po yung pressure. So, four more pa lang po kami tatlo. And then, yung mga kalaban po namin, may mga seniors na po sila. May mga veterano na po sila kasama sa loob ng course. Mas, ano, dumoble po yung saya na naramdaman namin. Tsaka, nung nanalo yung men's, uh, umiyak po kami ni Bilog kasi naramdaman po talaga namin yung, yung saya. Yun nga, nakita naman natin sa game na hindi ganun kadali. Nahirapan din po kami. Napakahirap na manalo dito. Napakagaling ng mga teams na naglalaro dito sa UAE. No regrets po. Like, yeah. Sabi po ni Ate Gil, uh, binus naman po namin yung lahat ng makakaya namin and lahat ng natutunan namin sa training.
couldn't have done this year without Jazz and sobrang nakaka-proud nakaka-proud talaga and I can't wait what she has to show for the future of beach volleyball in La Salle kasi I can see that the future is bright Inspiration po namin to para next year inspiration po para hindi pa kami magpabaya hindi pa namin bibitawan yung ano po yung nasimulan po namin to